Three claps, your boy Swain's back, back at it again. Swain Swaggy Synth, dropping to y'all another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing one of the uh, synths that I have posted on my community tab. Make sure that you uh, check that out and like it. Comment on it to see if you uh, happen to have this fragrance. And with this fragrance, it is similar to a uh, much more expensive fragrance. And that is going to be uh, Tom Ford's. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Beau Du Jour. And with Beau de Jour, uh, it is a take on uh, modern day, but also classic type of scent. And also it cuts the price in half. If if not that, I'm, I'm telling you, this is a $20-ish, mid-$20-ish, if that, fragrance. And you can get it off of Amazon. You can get it off of FragranceNet. And you can get a lot of juice in this. And uh, today I'm going to be dropping what I got from it so far for today. And I'm going to tell you if this is a good pickup. I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it and uh, to see if you want it in your collection to be old classic and old fashioned. Without further ado, let's get to this review. Let's do it. So the fragrance that I'm going to be talking to you all about today is going to be from the house of Davidoff. And that is Davidoff Zeno. And as you can tell, just looking at the bottle, it just looks like an old man. It, honestly honestly and truly it looks like an old man and just the bottle is just so simplistic you know brown uh glass and you had the tan top it's just like once you got this and once this came out uh in later years um this was just kind of like something given to it. here you go just worry about the juice inside don't worry about the simplistic bottle but um but with this fragrance i wore it today this morning as obviously y'all seen i'm sure that y'all seen on the community tab that this is my scent of the day so far and i haven't really gotten any compliments um the only thing that i can say from this the first maybe hour or so then you're gonna have a nice little um scent trail but other than that like it disappears quickly but this is a scent that's truly for close encounters this is a great wearable scent for the office this is a very sensual and very grown man scent, you know, very masculine scent. And like I was just mentioning in the intro, this is more or less of a similarity to Beau Du Jour, you know, from Tom Ford. And with this fragrance, it has your, your lavender, it has that bergamot. The bergamot is the first thing that you smell. It has a little bit of, of an alcoholic tinge in the beginning with the bergamot, but obviously, once again, with the tester strip or with your uh, your wrist or the back of your hand, you have to waft it a little bit in order for it to kind of like settle down and not be too like in your face. You know what I mean? Like in your face, in your face. But uh, with this fragrance, you know, once again, like I get maybe one hour of projection, then after that, it becomes real close. Like, so like I still smell it from this morning when I had, when I had put it on, you know, after I did a couple of errands and I came back and then, you know, I sprayed some more on, I went out with one of my buddies and, you know, we were just chatting at the bar and, uh, it was still on me, but you know, no one was kind of sensing that I had it on. So I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a bad fragrance or it's not going to get you compliments at all. But I will say that don't really look for anybody that, um, you know, will notice the scent as quickly as other fragrances that will get you, get that person's attention and grab them to say, like, man, like, you smell good. But this is definitely a solid fragrance. And for, like, a fraction of the price, that's, that's outrageous for a Tom Ford, which is more refined, more like, you know, um, a modern take on the the classical sense of everything but this is like your day one gentleman driver like everyday wear this is this is just a, a good scent this is just a a non it's it's a sensitive scent where it's just like it's sensitive to the fact on like people's uh you know ways of smelling and you know sometimes it might be irritating for some other fragrances where the sensitivity of of, of the uh their nasal passage and you know just flare-ups and what have you because i have a co-worker like that but you know and i try to be mindful of that um and this is something that i can kind of get away with which is which is good which i appreciate but you know obviously you know i would want to wear other fragrances too but with this fragrance i get about from from when I first put this on around 
when I first put this around, maybe like, I'll say like nine o'clock, from nine to maybe nine to noon, I, I was, it was good. And then after that came back and then I put some more on and it, so I would say roughly within that first, within that first spray and first trial period, I would say like it was maybe like, maybe four or five hours for me personally. Uh, maybe for, for some it'd be different, but but for this one, for me, four to five hours max. And then if you need to, you can spray on there generously. Obviously, it's not really a too heavy heavy scent. And once again, with the notes, if you if I haven't already mentioned it, you have the lavender, you have the rosewood, patchouli is in here. And in the last video where I was just saying with the whole barbershop vibe with the duas, this is uh, another barbershop vibe as well that is perfectly cheap something that when you smell it you just you just think of old school you just think of an old classy guy that has three businesses a family of five and you know three bentleys in a Bentley's. you know he's been he's been working for all his life basically with this fragrance this is what you're going to get from this I got this off of Amazon and you know, you can get off of FragranceNet like I was just mentioning. Cheap, you know, if you wanna buy it, then you can. If you don't want to, and you want something that's uh, longer projecting, longer on your skin, then you're gonna have to save up your money for that time for Beau, uh, Beau De Jour, excuse me. So, you know, that was my quick review on this fragrance. It wasn't gonna be like a long winded uh, review on this. And I will have to say that this is a solid pickup. I have a lot of, I have some other pickups that I'll probably get to soon in a lot of other videos, but just be on the lookout for, you know, my stories and my community tab where I'll let y'all know when the video is coming out or, you know, what y'all think about this fragrance. Cause I want to hear from y'all too. I want to see what the newest flanker is, what the newest fragrance is, what the newest trend is, just to see if I have it or not or if it's something that I'll be interested in getting it. So once again, this is Davidoff's Zeno. Legit, legit bottle. And don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on down below, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.